Let's start recording. Hello. Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm invisible. Hold on a second. Ah, big Alex. And then we... And then we... Let's see. Ha ha! Tiny Alex. There we go. I am, you know, Alex. This is gonna be Fallout 3. Ooh. And it would have been smart of me to have this booted up ahead of time, but... <laughs> ah, no. I have not been streaming very much this week. Like at all. Because after oh, Sunday, Ash and Smoke decided to settle in on Seattle and start choking the life out of us. For two or three days there, we had the worst air quality of any major metropolitan area in the world. In including, like, Beijing. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Like, going outside, feeling like you're dying, waking up with a bloody nose every day. But not every day. At least one of the days. Uh, all the same. Didn't really put me in the mood to play Fallout, because, you know, I already feel like I couldn't breathe. Being thematically in a setting where I couldn't breathe too on top of that. Ooh, boy. Send this man help. <laughs> somebody's somebody's got to save you from those ads. Uh, we were just digging around and exploring, right? And if finally got around to the point where I should be doing the main quest or the quest in this area. Yeah, that sounds believable. Oh, good God! Yeah, it rained this morning, really early in the morning. Not in Seattle proper, but. The air pressure changed enough that all of the ash and smoke are gone, and holy fuck, it is a world of difference. There's a huge, huge difference. I gotta say, what what struck me the most was not how bad the temperatures were, which it you know it was humid, it was uncomfortable, but it wasn't that bad. What really bothered me were. Folks, especially tourists, walking, walking around with babies, when the air quality is so bad that generally recommended that no one be outside, and yet you have these developing fucking proto humans out in the world. And you're not worried about them at all. That's just awful. <laughs> I straight up looked like I was uh, going to Burning Man on a couple of the days with how much I had covering my mouth. That's something they don't warn you about. You watch too many ads, you slowly become the ad. The old adage about he who fights monsters should make sure that in the process he does not become a monster. No! He who watches ads should make sure that he does not become an ad. Quite tragic, really. Alright, I don't need to be sneaking around in here. Everything except certain feral ghouls I just can utterly destroy. <laughs> Definitely not a scam! I'm a real person. I promise. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Now we we have air purifiers and air filters. Fucking love me some HEPA filters now, but holy shit, it is a world of change to be able to go outside and be able to just breathe. Oh yeah, alright, so... What's going on with you? You're... Your head is, like, completely removed. I'm having a hard time telling what the fuck it is I'm looking at here. Okay, that's a ritual knife. I got that. See a couple of cherry bombs here. 
Kunga fruit. But like this this is pretty clearly somebody's What the fuck am I looking at? What is this supposed to be? Oh, it's a doll! Oh, it's a crumpled up little doll where their head would be. And then one on their chest. Oh yeah, okay, that's creepy. I'm like, what the hell is this weird amorphous shape I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take this and then... Really? People don't run in. I could have sworn that people... Yeah, they do. <laughs> there you are! There we go. You done mess up now! You done mess up now. Ah, uh, you could mine the audio files of this game for some real... Did he say brother at the end? I mean, maybe you would have said brother at the end if you had lived long enough. Oh. I'd like to say that I celebrated the return of breathable air in some fitting fashion, like going outside and doing something. Nah. I enjoyed a lazy day at home, which is just fantastic, and a real quiet night at work. <laughs> And that's it. So we give her the book because the other dude's crazy racist you old man. Stop. All right, just random smugglers. Cool, cool. Ah, die thief. Marcella's last words. Yeah, but he's got some bottle caps in here and some of this. And safe key. And go ahead. Pop that open. Bullshit, this is stealing. The woman's dead, game. Don't you guilt me. They attacked while I slept. I. I don't expect to survive. I only pray that, <coughs> that you haven't taken that book to Obadiah. Bad voice acting. You must take up my mission. There is one way to utterly destroy the Grivbeckner. But you must take a pilgrimage far north of Point Lookout in the capital wasteland. Uh -huh. Seek a place. Oh god, Dunwich. we have to go back to Dunwich. Within is an obelisk. Itself a wicked thing. It'll consume the book. You need only press the book to its surface. It's kind of a fucked Make up God obelisk that it eats a book. His blessings upon you, child. Make haste for Dunwich. My god. I am sorry for all my sins with all my heart. I took off my gun. Choosing to do wrong. Failing to do all good. Oh, right. With that one quest. I yeah, yeah. Have sinned against you. Oh, my God. This lady is so unlikable. Oh. I have sinned against you, God. Just doing it because this is the thing that gives me positive karma. Hello, my good man. Back to the capital wasteland. Uh, this is not how I go upstairs. Hello, my good man. Take me back. Hello, traveler. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is brown and the. Happy to are oblige. Poorly rendered. Thank you. 
You know what? Just, just give me all of these. Yep. Yep. That's fine. I can't, I keep pressing the wrong hotkeys. I have been playing Fallout 4 earlier today. I do not... I am not using the right hotkeys for things at all. So these I absolutely don't need. These I absolutely don't need. They sure as fuck don't need those. So these... Or... These really? Yeah. Yeah, let's give you 30 of these. No? Alright. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm not going to do math. I... Do, 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 do. I... No, I just want to go back. Do I sweep in the bed? I don't talk to you? Okay. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Weird. Uh, you know, go up to the boat captain and be like, Oh, yeah, you know, I'm ready to go back. Oh, uh, you just sweep in his boat, and he gets the message eventually. That's, that's how reasonable Hello, folks Trevor. communicate. Hey, haven't found I your daughter. Your yeah, 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 everyone needs my help. I'm a, what you call a protagonist. Uh, what? Why the hell is this pointing me to a location outside Springvale School? You know what? Yeah. The game is clearly not right about this, but what's outside of Springvale School that I could possibly use this with? I'm <laughs> curious enough to take a look. I'm gonna tear you up. Yeah, you sure got me. Ah, one of my favorite locations in the game, honestly, Springvale School. I have a lot of very good memories of it. Where the fuck is this trying to get me to go? Here? This isn't anywhere near Dunwich. What are you on about, game? Oh yeah, so this this is just like straight up broken. Okay, well, good thing I've gone to where you're trying to get me to go before. Oh no, did... Uh... Schools respond. Shit, they almost certainly have. Let's see. Well, the loot's gone. If the loot's gone, then the ghouls are probably still dead. Probably? Possibly? Maybe? Gonna find out. Yeah! Looking pretty dead. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Am I going the right way at all? So, I want to go to the Virulence Underchambers. Or the Forsaken... Either way, it's north. No, don't, don't loot the place, Alex. You've already been through this. I'm just here to drop off a little bit of creepy Lovecraftian horror, and then be on your way. How do you, how do you kill Lovecraftian horror? Give it another one. Plus one plus one equals zero. I've been to school. I know how I just walked in a circle. I am a smart man. There we go. Over down here, should be able to, yep. Oh, not at all a labyrinthian layout. No, no, not, not the least. Not even a little bit confusing. Yep, that's, that's looking good. <laughs> ah, yep, yep. Totally a game that was ready for market when released. No bugs. No glitches, no, none at all. Oh, such a fucking wonderful game. And instead of fixing this bug-ridden catastrophe, they just 
charged more for it and made DLC for it that loops back. You know what, virulent underchambers, you're you're right above me, right? It's time for the cashews. I'm just gonna. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, just gonna get through the whole maze bit and not go through that again. We've done this shit before. If I'm saving minutes by cheating and cutting through a shortcut, fuck it. Ooh, spooky sounds. Okay. Yeah, press it into the surface. It explodes in radiation. And we're on our way. We get a hundred experience. Is that seriously it? No reward. What a terrible fucking quest. Oh, hey. Go all the way back to the capital wasteland. Push this thing into an obelisk, get heavily irradiated for your effort, and then that's it. 100 XP. There you go. The same amount you would get for turning in 10 scrap metal. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. What an occasion. Maybe 20 scrap metal still. Oh. Ah. I'm only doing it for the experience. So next, we uh, have to go find what's her name, the girl that we were sent here for. It occurred to me after I stopped playing on, I don't know, Sunday? Monday? Probably Sunday, was when I stream last. This is more or less the exact same premise as the, uh, the DLC for Fallout 4 that sends you to a foggy island chasing after a lost girl and that Iceland, er, Iceland island is all marshy and wet and there's weird locals there and have weird religions and cults and shit and like this seems awfully derivative. Looking to travel? Yep, apparently. God, that's an expensive ticket. Alright, done with that local flavor for I guess local flavor is what I'm doing. Gotta travel here, we've already been here. Cool, cool. Not a lot going on here. Far Harbor, that's the name of the DLC. Far Harbor was Get in here and help me fight these bastards all terrible. Damn it. I mean, the, the ambiance was pretty cool. They did some weird and stupid too. You... What is this demon magic? These doors are barred shut! They're barred so tight that not even the doors can keep them from being closed. Okay, I'm not moving things. Just let's let's get this over with, man. I who you are, but you need to help me if you want to stay alive. <laughs> uh huh. I've been at it all night. I think they are just about to breach the inner walls. Follow me. I'm going to go check it out. Why would I follow you? I don't know you. It seems odd to me that we side with this guy just because he's not a tribal. Ah, well, this, this ghoul seems to be hoarding supplies and wealth in this mansion all alone. Certainly the rich guy is in the right, rather than these 
ignorant backward tribals. There's some fucked up morality oh, that's yeah. just getting assumed here. What? It looks like they're coming in from somewhere upstairs. Hurry, follow me. What am I? What am I looking at here? What? What the hell is this supposed to be? It... Oh no! I thought he. I thought he went Open through these that. Doors and up the stairs. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry. These doors. These doors. Are you sure these doors? Pretty sure you didn't mean these doors. Pretty sure you meant some other set of this door? No. He said these doors, and going through these doors, there's no stairwell in here. At all. Shit is hilarious. What, what the hell? How does this shit make it through beta testing or alpha testing or any amount of testing at all? Uh, so what happens when we script the doors to open? Well, the doors open. Just the doors, though. Not not the bars holding them shut. They was just stay in place. Oh, well, maybe we should uh, clear those out or something. No, nah, no, nah, just leave them. Alright, no, I'm just, just got it, I guess. Yep, that works about right. Where are you going? What are you doing? Excuse you. I should feel more enticed by the ammunition sitting around. I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm filthy as hell. <laughs> I'm filthy as hell. Filthy fucking rich. I'm super well equipped. There you are. More loot's nice, but... I mean, just barely nice. Hurry up and seal that hole. It looks like an explosion should do the trick. Maybe there's something explosive near the hole you can shoot. Oh, you mean like that? See what up? That that screams of somebody designed a puzzle with an explosive in the room, but because exploding barrels aren't a thing in this game. They decided after playtesting that it wasn't clear enough what the puzzle solution was. So the hey, voice actor is like, yeah. "Hey, shoot the thing! This used to be a now. puzzle, but people Hurry were dumb." Yeah, looks like they're about to breach from the east wing. Yeah. Let's just explain how the puzzle works to you, and then you do it, and then you feel accomplished. Stop. Just use doors. If you have enough firepower to be coming in through the walls. Why the hell is it? How the hell is this building still standing? What the hell? What? What the hell, indeed? Ah! Obligatory. What the hell? Taking terrible ammo, terrible ammo, unnecessary sim packs. Yes, very good use of my time. Yep, alright. Oh no! What? Forever? Sleep forever? I wasn't like die. Yeah, alright. You too, buddy. 
You too. Oh well. Do you fall through the ceiling or do I fall through the floor? How is this going to work? Maybe not at all. Maybe they're... Oh, hey! <laughs> I know when I'm trying to shoot someone, I run up right next to them and hold my gun parallel to their body. With the barrel facing a different direction. The the Fallout 3 AI has uh, some quirks. I'm gonna run straight at you. That'll get you. We done in here? Can we be done in here? Please? Alright, now we come back in here and the guy falls through the ceiling? Nope, okay. Do I have to go back downstairs, maybe? Oh, okay. This went into here. This doesn't go upstairs. This doesn't go upstairs. Kill some people in here. Kill some people in here. It's dead ends. Okay. So, how about going through here? Ah, okay. There we go. Look what we're doing. Are they tribals? I mean, they're referred to as tribals, but typically someone is a tribal if they exist in a society which has a tribal organizational structure. Not just based on their level of technology. Such a party girl, you no longer suffer withdrawal from alcohol addiction. Why Why would I drink alcohol in this game? It doesn't do anything. This would actually be quite good, but we can't get that, so instead warmonger and a weakness, meh. Boo -ba -doo -boo -da. Let's go with puppies. Sure. More dog meats. More dog meats that I'm not using because the companion AI is about as bad as the NPC AI. Alright. Hi, buddy. One last way for them to get here. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. We? Who's this we? Why why did I just walk in here and start killing Grab people all the for you? Packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. If you have it. In your minds. Now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the boarded up doors at any second. I I'm not using mines. Just let's get this shit over with. Do I need to walk up to him and tell him that I'm ready? Oh I probably do. Fine. 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 Because the game is so insistent about this. Okay. Second floor on the right. Second floor. Ah, yes. God forbid you tell me what floor they're coming from. That's fine. Now with the firepower that these people have. And the amount of ammunition. It seems safe to assume that they have access to some sort of manufacturing technology. Or they have some sort of somewhat advanced manufacturing capabilities. Okay. Yeah, let's but shoot at the one all the way in the back. Or is that's just not gonna Oh, okay, that's fine. How about It was really 
hoping their head would set off the mine. It looks like their body did. That's fine. Oh. What the fuck were you even doing, lady? The door on the left, first floor. Yar, the door on the left. What is your voice? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's me. Fallout was Fallout Three was a, a pretty daring game for its time, but. These these particular titles, this series of titles, uh, Oblivion and Fallout 3, they're really goddamn buggy. Not not sort of buggy, not sort of glitchy, but just notoriously bad. They're at the front door. Get ready. Oh no. Yeah, you fuck up that doorway. Hey, for fuck's sake, he's using a minigun. How tribal are they if they're using a goddamn minigun? Again, tribal is... Depending on their power structure, it's not really a term used to define or qualify how technologically advanced people are, but uh, the Fallout writers aren't the most so, sociologically hero. nuanced. Think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time? I guess. Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the fail safe. Which is a new... But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. You got a real sexual predator vibe going on with that mustache, Desmond. Uh, yeah, whatever. What, what failsafe? The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Great. Yeah, why were they attacking? Not I didn't even read what that clue. did. <laughs> It'd be easy to like, chalk it up care. to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Snore. Uh, okay. Why would they want to attack the mansion? Damned if I know. It was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. Desmond, None of it would be useful to a from? bunch of crazed inbreds. He has a, a pseudo English accent. You seen Nadine? I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. Yeah. There was some bird girl named Nadine nosing around here a few weeks back, but I she mean, ran off before I could. It's been a long time since divorce myself. Okay. Uh, I have to go now. Oh, hold on there. Not so fucking fast. You can be useful to me. I need. Uh, I can be useful to you, huh? Yep. You can't kill him. Oh, God, I hate this bullshit baby hand holding. Ah, I'm gonna make a really unlikable character, but but you can't you can't kill them. You you just gotta do what they Consider want you to do because this game's on rails. What do you want me to do? You need to learn to pay it. Fuck off. Those mud. Fuck off. So I need you to find a way into the. Yeah, go into the commie and figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, yes. Become a tribal. Yeah. Oh no way. I don't care. Yeah, I have to go now. Ah, go become a tribal and figure out what's going on. It's just, the point lookout is so far removed from anything else going on. Really, this is Maryland? It did not feel like Maryland. Maybe I just haven't spent much time in Maryland. It's so thematically removed from 
everything else in Fallout 3. It's not even tangentially related to anything in the Capital Wasteland, except for, ah, oh, there's a boat. Oh no, my daughter is lost. Can you go find her in this swampy, abysmal place? Sure, I guess. Why not? Hark, who goes there? Hark, who, who goes lingers there? at the threshold of transcendence? Ah, you're using biblical language. Ugh, can I join your tribe? What's this? A humble traveler, seeking the guidance of our awakened minds. Truly, this is a glorious day. You are from far away, and must be strong indeed to have traveled this far. But strength is nothing without the guidance of the enlightened mind. If you seek entry, you must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. This is so fucking stupid. I'll take your test, sure. You may not be so brave. Yeah, 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 yeah I don't care. Oh god, I have to go get hunger fruit, don't I? Yep, go to the sacred bog, get the weird fruit from the sacred bog, and then return once you're ready to get high on the sacred fruit. Because in 200 years, what we really put time and energy into is constructing a new hokey religion based around a psychotropic fruit rather than Building buildings, or infrastructure, or agriculture. Nah, nah, we just hung out in a dumpy ass swamp for centuries doing nothing. I mean, upon any sort of critical reflection or analysis, the, the Fallout setting as a whole tends to fall away, but Fallout 3 in particular does a very, very poor job of justifying a lot of its video game horseshit. Granted, two and one weren't stellar either. Really, what what my point is that I'm very excited to get to New Vegas. As much as I'm complaining, I'm just ecstatic to move over to a title that has more narrative focus, more narrative-driven objectives, and get. Isn't there some collectible I should be getting in here? Am I misremembering that? rather than like, hello, random person, do this job. Thing we've able to excuse to move from A to B to get characters and factions that interact with each other and branching stories and branching choices and some sort of interactive autonomy rather than railroading. It's still railroaded. All video games are to some extent, but in most narrative literature, art is going to be that way as well. But <sighs> it's so much of Fallout 3 seems completely removed from the the main quest. The main quest, if you stick on it and only do what's connected to that or things tangentially related to that. In all, you will cover like a third of the game, maybe at the most, probably more like 20% of the stuff in the game. Because so much of this is just around. Things that you can do, but aren't really related and don't really help prepare you or make you more capable or able to achieve your goals related to the main quest, they're just sort of filler. And 
not particularly good filler in this case. Go walk around a swamp that has very conveniently shaped cliff sides to make you serpentine back and forth over a small map that we can make seem larger by making you walk about it in the most inefficient pattern possible. Just snake back and forth and back and forth. This is how we get the most out of our uh, VRAM and processing power. Squeeze a lot into a tiny area so the game doesn't have to have that much in it. Keep the data size slow. Keep, keep the data size slow. No, keep the file size low. Activate the pods! <laughs> I had on a helmet designed to filter out radiation, but yeah, nah, some real dank herb is all it takes to get through that. You got me, game. You got me. My radiation level has not increased. Aha! Fake bobbleheads. They'll say things like, walked into another trap. How stupid are you? Instead of saying that you're intelligent or charismatic or whatever else, they'll say the opposite. Kind of a clever-ish idea. Kind of. But again, completely removed from the narrative that we were <laughs> previously participating in. Like, why would... Oh, I hate this. Yeah, you got me with the cool thing. What, why, why would this character be tripping out about bobbleheads when the first time we saw a bobblehead was on our dad's desk and we've only seen in our formative years one bobblehead. Why would the entire collection of these bobbleheads be so important to our psyche that when we hallucinate this is what we're hallucinating? And why the fuck would we be hearing our own self as a baby exploding into Molotov cocktails? The ghoul thing? The ghoul thing makes sense. Because we have been around a lot of ghouls, and that is a traumatic experience, and that that makes sense for a a uh, hallucinogenic experience. Absolutely. This? Classic. Absolutely. But the bobblehead thing, kind of weird. And here's, here's a hot take. I feel like if you're going to have someone write this, this is weird. Alright, needle and thread? I've never seen, in the course of this game, a single sewing kit. Presumably, they must exist, right? But with the needles, well, we grew up in a vault. The needles we're familiar with probably look like that. What? Whether it be a game or a movie or literature, you should not write about a hallucinatory experience unless you've had one. Or get someone who has to write it for you, because otherwise you just make yourself look like an asshole. This is pretty spot on though. This, this is dark. Bodies in the water, ooh. Uh, oh, hey, Burke. Congrats. No, no, don't, don't try and get up yet. You'll hurt. Ah, Mr. Break. Alright, yep, tripped out. Now we can join the tribe. Weird criteria. Anyone can walk into a swamp, do some drugs, and leave, but sure, yep, yep. Typically, initi an initiation rite or ritual is done to prove that a member of, a would be member of your tribe is actually like K 
capable of contributing in some fashion to the well-being of everybody else in that community, not like, yo, he smoked the same dank herb I did. I want to hang out with this guy for no other Truly reason than him indulging in the herb. Wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. I mean, Burning Man's going on right now, so, hey. Why does my head hurt so much? Because of drugs, kid. Because of drugs. That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. <laughs> it is the feeling of having no boundaries, no limits. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened sister. You now receive better effects from eating Punga fruit. Well, I haven't eaten one. Why did you attack the mansion? Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. <sighs> okay. How do you know who the fates are? The fates are figures from classic Greek literature. Or mythology. Literature. Potato, potato. If your society, or subsect of society, if your culture has regressed, and you are presumably illiterate, how the fuck do you know who the fates are? Also, why the hell do you speak like a King James Bible if you are not in a religiously informed sect deriving from mine? At ease. God. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Mind at ease. Well, okay, they do have agriculture. And see, keep something like this running, you'd need a pretty good grasp on engineering. So clearly, you folks must be literate, so why then? Mind. Understood. Go past the flesh. Yes, Mother Woodrose. That's a very creepy thing to say. Uh, what? Why the hell are they wearing clothing like this? They live in a swamp. Like these shoes are not adequate for that. These fucking high tops you're wearing are not doing you any favors in a swamp. <laughs> what is this walk that you're Please all doing? Until my meditation is all complete. Yeah, no. Something troubles you? Yeah, uh, nope. Something troubles you? I, actually, Jim, my man, I, I wanted to talk to Tribal. No, nope, never mind, you don't have a name. With Rose. Yeah, okay, you got a moment. A moment. Jesus Christ, this is... What what am I doing in here? Escape to the mind. Oh my God. And you as well. Pardon me while I commune with the higher place. Uh, game, come on. Find the location of the tribal leader. Uh, she's right here, but unavailable. Pardon me while uh. I commune with the higher planes. What asshole? scripted the NPC to be like, ah yes, you need to speak with me to complete this quest. I'm just gonna stand here and have seizures. Another new member? What, are we offering a special? How would you know what a special I is? offered you wisdom, but it looks like it's still going to be a while before you really learn to accept it. Until then, you answer to me. I'm Woodrose, the tribe mother. Hey, fuck. Most people now don't say we're having a special on insert thing. I mean, it's pretty commonly understood what that means, but outside of the context of a capitalist society, that would not be a valuable phrase or a valuable turn of phrase to, 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 to pass down. Who leads the tribe? 
Damn, you are wet behind the ears. Jackson leads us, and don't you forget, when he talks, you listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jackson. I'm going to Jackson. Jackson Town. <sighs> I'm going to Jackson, Nadine. Looks like another newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? You mean lucky? You still remember your name? Math? How's your memory? When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Heads cut open? What are you talking about? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look What's like a lively fuck? one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. That's so stupid. Can you get rid of my scar? You're a lucky one. And I probably didn't do oh, okay. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, hold st Scar removed. Your mother asked me to find you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. So you joined the it's cult. Just, I came out here to find a fortune. To make my mark. To be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually. Just not quite yet. Who joins a trepanning cult is a way to find their way. What? No. No. Why, why cut up in my... Where, where the fuck is Jackson? Off at his magical thinking cave, I Jesus guess. Christ. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so- I, I'm sure it pisses yeah. you off. Yeah, uh, I need to know where he's at. Sure, fine. His caves, when you- Okay, I'm on it. Sea cave key. Yeah, I gotta go to the fucking sea cave to see Desmond. Wait, see- Not Desmond. See Jackson. Ooh, well, you know- Eight minutes left of the hour, I could put in a cut here. I'm really hoping to just wrap up this DLC in the next ten minutes. Not likely, I know, but... Alright, angry old man. You infiltrated those yeah, 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 I'm in. I know where their leader is hiding. I'm out Okay, great. So... The game forces me to talk to him. He makes fun of me for telling him before finding out more information. And then the game tells me to go find more information. I'm not your daddy. Go. Why can't you do this on your own? Herpa derpa derpa. The game doesn't let me do that. NPC, don't give me shit for. That is garbage. Ha ha, you did the only thing you could do. What an idiot. Yeah, I'm I'm the asshole here, game. I'm the asshole. Not the motherfucker who wrote this. Convoluted chain of events. Ah, oh, there was more than one. Yep, okay, and then you know. a bear-like sound than I was expecting one of those to make. I go ahead and rat away, sure. <sighs> so, I'm trying to get here, but apparently I have to go loop around? That seems believable, given everything else in this DLC, but I might be wrong about that. Hmm... No, I'm definitely wrong about that. Why is this half a KP then? Distraction?
Yeah, money, 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 money. Why, why am I even taking the money? I don't even need money. I have so much currency already. More money is typically good, but there's there's nothing I need to buy. Really, the only thing I'll be spending money on for the rest of the game is repairs. Are repairs rather? Is on repairs. There we go. That's how you grammatically parse that sentence. So, oh, okay. You know what? We're, we're just gonna do 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 do. Apparently not enough. It's it's a shame that early on, Fallout is really at its best early on. Right when you first get your first gun or your first weapons and you're well on ammo and it's a real constant struggle to keep yourself healthy, to keep your gun full of ammo, it really At captures... Last, yes! Desmond will die and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! It, it really captures the feeling of, oh my god. Simpleton, psychic domination! And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device! Remove the impurities disrupting your perfect guidance. There we go. Yes, fine! Go destroy the house and its impurities! Just stop that jammer and I'll be free of you, morons, once and for all! The, the scarcity of an apocalyptic setting makes it good. That's the struggle. That's the gameplay. That's the thing you're working with and playing with and engaging with. And once Hello? you take that away, a you lot of the charm is lost. A fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. Oh my god, I, 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 I wanted to meet the tribal leader. I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from a higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher plane? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean you're not the one in charge of the drive? No, you're not. I mean, we just, we contextually learned this. We don't need an NPC to explain what I just heard. I heard him getting orders from a fucking disembodied holographic brain. I, I can put two and two together. Why did I attack? You attacked the mansion because the disembodied holographic brain told you to. I'll go see the transcendental yes. mod. Yeah, yeah. Yes, fellow seeker. Now oh, fuck off. You you are an unnecessary character. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here. Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. How did you come to lead the tribe? Jackson believes me to be some kind of god. You think that would be good, but his interpretations of my commands leave something to be desired. Regardless, I trust you can be more effective than he has been. I need your help on an important task. As a troublesome ghoul who lives in Calvert Mansion, I need him destroyed and his jamming device neutralized <laughs> immediately. Why? More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. I have to go now. I I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm 
a disembodied brain that controls things with my mind. Well, you know, it's campy enough. Yep, you got that part right. Fuck, there's enemies nearby. I wouldn't really call on the beach down here nearby, per se, but sure again. Sure. You do, you do you. Hey. Meyer work. Thank you. Now we go down here and be like, oh hey, it's some guy with this weird name. It'll be like, that guy, my old rival. You see, we're both ghouls and we hated each other before the war because of some family feud and derp herp burp burp a dumb lore that doesn't affect anything. Are you gonna side with me or him? And then you have to make a choice to either destroy his thing or go kill the brain guy and... I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Uh-huh. Who's the brain guy? Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. Really, it seems like the best thing to do here is to kill both of you. You killed dozens, if not hundreds, of people in your squabble. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced him to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Okay, what's going on? Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this <sighs> game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy. And I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. This is just a great I time to kill Desmond. Him. And it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Why? Figurative. Why? His head. Why? I mean, why do you want to kill him? He's my rival. Why is he your rival? Don't just say, he's my rival. Give, give Desmond some likability. Give him some character. Give him some, some depth. Some... A motivation that isn't just like he wants Desmond wants to kill Calvert because Desmond is Calvert's rival why is he his rival what are they rivaling over what are they in contention with each other for what what's at stake what what are their desires and how are they in conflict with each other if you're going to create <laughs> characters and you're going to put them in a game Presumably you want them to be interesting. Presumably the asshole who wrote this did so with the intent of it being interesting. Make it interesting. Don't just give lip service to... The, the meat and potatoes. And it's, it's just, just a means to an of end. Course. Yeah, yeah, you want me to go kill it. Watch your tone, old man. Oh, what? <laughs> you think I haven't been shot before? Think that you, over the thousands who have tried, can take me down. You'd best watch. I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, yeah. You... What's your plan? We go kill him. It's, it's on the Ferris wheel. Yep. Now go, yep, so we go jam the entire island using the ferris wheel. It's... Oh, do you, do you want to pick a side here? Nope, the game tells you what side to pick. Even though it hinted at like, ah, I can, I can have some choice here. I can have some autonomy. I can make a decision on my own. No. no. It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. I remember... I assure you that the gratitude of <sighs> Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey.
Ah. Calvert's a piece of shit, but he's not mind controlling people. He's a xenophobic garbage man, but. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Pay! Look what we have. No money pays for me! You and this. You will suffer! You and. Ghoul will. Both pay What the fuck? <laughs> this is gonna... T-pose and float backward away from me. Game of the year when this came out. Game of the fucking year. What? Ow. God, AI has come such a long way. I can just quick travel out of here, can't I? Not too many enemies nearby. Alright, fair enough. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, you're up there. What about that? You? Sort of clap. It's mostly annoying because this is a place I can't go. If I were playing a melee character, this would be some bullshit. Granted, I could just run right past them, but. Leap oh. forever! Excuse you? Sleep forever? Right, okay then. Nope. Got him. Oh, good day, my, my favorite shopkeep. I just would like to... Oh, I knew you would return. What is How your How may voice? Madame Panada assist you? Jesus, prepare some Certainly. things for me. Certainly, Madame Panada is quite handy. Oh, God, your voice acting sucks. All right, I'm putting in a cut here. Uh, grumpy Alex, tired Alex, little ball of fur. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that tired. I'm not that grumpy. This, this DLC just sucks. <laughs> it... It was really unpopular at the time. I hated it. And I'm continuing to be like, oh yeah, this this was just really disappointing. After Fallout 3, I think uh, Point Lookout was ooh, the, the first or second DLC. It was Operation Anchorage came out and was really well liked and well beloved at the time for understandable reasons. Even, even if there were problems with it, some back and forth, weirdness and it felt like a first person shooter not like a fallout game it was still it still had a pretty good narrative on the whole that brotherhood outcast bit was a bit played up but the whole simulation part was pretty interesting pretty fun pretty creative and it plays on stuff that already exists in fallout 3 you you've already met somebody referring to the colonel, referring to the, the general who you work for before, and we already have the context for the hollow simulators because of the vault where we find our dad. So it, it's pretty well integrated, and it involves a faction we're already familiar with. It's pretty good. And in comparison, Point Lookout and The Pit, which I don't love, just more or less completely unrelated. The Pit has some tenuous connections to the Brotherhood of Steel, I think, but uh, Point Lookout in particular really fails narratively because it's completely removed from the ethos and the setting of Fallout 3. 
which already has a hard time containing itself at times. Anywho, anywho, that aside, I'm putting in a cut here. I'm going to keep... Mm, mm, am I going to keep streaming? I mean, it's only been an hour, but I normally stop around midnight. I know it's late, but dog, I've been busy. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be another episode up tomorrow regardless. In the meantime, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, complain in the comment section that ah, Alex is ripping on the game too much, and I really liked it. Hey, if you really liked Point Lookout, let me know what I'm missing out on. Explain to me the virtues of this, because I'd, I'd like to hear Genuinely. Um, but all the same, I'll be back tomorrow, and on Twitch I'll probably be back again for like an hour or two tomorrow night. I know it's not much, but busy, busy man. Until tomorrow, toodaloo. Take care. And bye-bye.